Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chris Sheila, and I'm a mom to a one-year-old as well as a wife to a mechanical engineer. And if you're not new here, well, hey, welcome back. I'm super glad to have you. I post every Wednesday and Friday and occasional Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and then when I'm posting next, um, yeah. So today I figured I'd do a small grocery haul as well as a small little recipe, which is my pasta salad. I typically make it when we are barbecuing and the weather's really nice. The weather is super nice. It's like 80 degrees here on April 2nd. We're gonna barbecue and we're gonna have pasta salad. So I figured I might as well show you guys how I make it. It's super easy, super fast, and super delicious. So who doesn't like a fast recipe that's delicious? Anywho, let's get to this. All right, so I got the Chubani flip cups. I love these things. Um, I got three different flavors. Got the chewy churro, the coffee brownie bliss, the cookie dough, three of those. Then this is the 15 gram protein um, banana cream version. And then these are newer. And this is the Pro. I got two of the strawberry and one of the vanilla of the Pro and it's 20 grams of protein. Um, this is for the pasta salad is the tricolor roni. I got two things of strawberries, some gushers, I got a chai tip for tonight, um, Monterey Jack for the pasta salad, got some cookie dough, um, a cucumber for the pasta salad, um, I got the loaded baked potatoes, these are so good. Um, Ricky loves the Stater Brothers strawberry lemonade, so I picked some up. The coffee meat, which is always delicious, vanilla, sweet Maui onion chips, these are so good, so good. Um, zesty Italian dressing, that's for the pasta salad tonight. Some pita chips, I like to have this with like a cheese dip or anything like that, so Parmesan garlic. Some milk, some cinnamon rolls, some tomatoes for the pasta salad, some olives for the pasta salad, and then little man's been loving mac and cheese right now, so just picked up Kraft and Velveeta's and then these were new and I was like okay I must try if I like them well you'll you guys will find out in the empties and then I also had a run to Kohl's for return for Amazon and so I figured I'd pick these up for the summer they had um all their fourth of July stuff so my bathroom uh my guest bathroom I thought these would be perfect to interchange so yeah pick those up so that's all I got for this um I hope you guys have picked some of this stuff up or thinking about it you know I will let you know in my empties at the end of the month um but yeah I will I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll make the pasta salad a little later bye so we're gonna make this pasta salad I got water going to boil noodles and yeah um I will show you what we need we got Italian dressing I like the zesty Italian by Kraft it's like one of the best high color pasta black olives cherry tomatoes and then I have um Monterey Jack cheese already pre-sharded personally that's my favorite cheese for this um I would also if you like onions I do not like onions go grab a red onion and yeah we'll get this made up so you're gonna cook your pasta just like how you would on the box I do it just like the box and then I'm gonna dump the olives drained olives the tomatoes if you had red onion throw it in at this point you could also add like artichoke hearts or like those tiny tiny like little corns we've done that before it just depends on how fancy you want it but I'm making just a simple one. Oh, and I also have a cucumber that I'm gonna throw in here so I'm gonna throw my pasta in the water because it's ready to go boil and then we're gonna put this 
Make sure you rinse your tomatoes. And then I'll drain the olives and everything here in a second. Until the noodles are done, I will check back in with you guys in a bit. All right, so I've finished cooking the pasta. I've also strained out all the water and rinsed it under cold water for a few times so that the noodles cool down and that they're not still cooking. With clean hands, go ahead and just mix it Before I put this in, I definitely go and put in our cheese first. Like I said, Monterey Jack is like the best um, cheese for this particular salad. Kind of like how you're Italian stuff, you go mozzarella, Monterey Jack seems to be the best. Add however amount of cheese you like. about half a bag for me and again just use your hands Shake up your Italian dressing. I use about a 
little over a quarter of a bottle. So probably about a third of the bottle. You don't want to oversaturate it because the noodles will just take a lot in. And then I'm going to mix this with an actual spoon. And at this point, this is done. Um, you can throw it in the, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge so it cools down and has that like cold pasta taste. Or you can serve it right now and it's still great as ever. This just, when it goes in the fridge, it kinda ha cools down and absorbs that um, dressing. Otherwise, yeah. That is my pasta salad. It's pretty cheap, it's really simple and a cakewalk to make. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, say hi to Colton, and I hope you guys all have a lovely day wherever you are. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Know when we're posting next. We love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Turning out to be a perfect day I just wanna leave our normal lives behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out here oh. We could disappear Into this atmosphere Where this water's clear, yeah.